What is going on everybody? This is Derek Sims here, back with another video on The Sims House Building. Today, we have another challenge. I know, we just did the Vixella Shell Challenge. And major kudos again to Vixella for making that beautiful shell. I turned it into a masterpiece that I thought would be elegant with the addition of a backyard. <coughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> no tea, no shade, just saying that you still should have been able to do a backyard, but that's okay, because we love and respect one another in the community, right? And I have mad love and props to Vixella and anyone out there that does the shell challenge and is unable to build what they want. I think everybody is able to create what they want in a space that they can deal with. So, major kudos to anybody that takes on that challenge. So, with this video... This is the SGC challenge, and I heard Owl who outside, and it's 9.30 in the morning, and it's snowing. Yesterday it was 60 degrees, and now it's snowing, and it's 35. What is Central Illinois for you? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Anyway, this house is part of the SGC challenge hosted by a fellow Twitter user Simmer Group Chat. I'm very excited at the rules that they have created for this little challenge. Basically, you dr you build your dream home. And what you're looking at is fairly simple, right? Like just itty bitty little things. <laughs> I feel like it's nothing. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, but like the challenge, basically you create your dream house and we have until tomorrow, March 15th by 2 p.m. Central time. And you know, being today, March 14th, which by the way, happy Pi Day, 3.14. Anyway. I wanted to get this video up and running since I might be able to work on videos more frequently on weekends and whatnot. So why not take this head on? For this video, however, I will not be talking the entire length of the video. I will be just letting some good old music play courtesy of No Copyright Sounds. Very good channel, check out music. I've been watching them for many years on YouTube and they provide some really good content, and I hope the music choices I've made lately are some that you all enjoy. And if not, I apologize, but I figured no copyright sounds is a good place to get some music for this channel with these videos. If it's appropriate to just lay back, enjoy, and listen to some good soothing music. So, my idea of this house is that it's going to be a three-story house. I want it to have a garden, a nice backyard. There won't be a pool. I'm going to be working on the gardening up front a little bit because as you can see in my last two videos on this channel, I've struggled to make trees up front with some gardening. In my Vixella challenge video, I attempted at that, but I want to do trees fully this time. So we get to see that in progress and, you know, just make this home a challenge. This home will have different elements of space. Let's just put it that way. I don't know how else to word it, except it's going to have a lot of space. It's going to be built very differently than what I've used to. And I'm just excited to see how this is going to turn out in the end. So with that, I will now be sitting silent and we just continue to build. I may jump in from time to time and talk about some things, but mainly we're going to be listening to some good music. So I hope you are ready to see a lovely speed build, and I hope you enjoy this stream. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and
the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on drop down I don't know if anybody has ever heard of a drop down but like it's something I think is really neat like you, there, you put a little set of stairs in and then you walk down from the main floor into a little pit if you will and I think they look neat they have differential space I don't know how to fully explain it but I think the living room and the bathroom they will be little pits and I think that is a nice feature in a house, or at least in this house for my vision. So if anyone's confused to it, it's easy. You just, actually it's not easy because I can't describe it. <laughs> but you've seen how I've done it in the video. So just mimic what I did in the video and then go with it. Like basically you just erase the floor in a closed room, make sure the room is fully closed. It doesn't have a little opening or anything like a hallway or one open wall and erase the floor and if it's on a platform like the home is on a platform you will have the ground the actual ground as your floor that will be your little thing so that's all cool so I thought I'd jump in real quick and explain how that was working so back to our lovely music
going to my favorite part of the house, the kitchen. As I said in my last two videos, I love a big kitchen. So with this home, my dream home, I was destined to create a big kitchen. Lots of cabinet space, lots of space to cook in, just a very big cooking environment. As you can tell, I'm kind of having trouble with how I want to do the counters. So I'm kind of struggling there. <laughs> I'm not entirely keen on that little differential in space between an actual cabinet and a counter cabinet, but it'll have to do, right? You know, because like, it is what it is. But so far, this is turning out really nice. Even though we have little bar stools at the counter, I might incorporate a dining table not too far away from it because you can never go wrong with having, you know, various areas of seating. So, if we have a party, some people can sit at the counter, some people can sit at the dining table. I still don't know how I'm gonna create the dining table, like how big I want it to be, how many chairs I'm gonna put on it, but I thought I'd jump in quick and address the kitchen and express my love for this kitchen, because honestly, I love how roomy it is. I love how all of this is coming together. And I'm also checking to make sure that the air hood the above the stove area is not peeping through the cabinet or a wall because that's always a challenge for me so yeah
master bedroom is that it's gonna have a master bathroom and a master closet not too far away from it. It's all gonna be one big L. Not taking an L for loser, but like an L for luxury. Let's just keep it that way. The closet is gonna be a walk-in, obviously straight off the bathroom. It's gonna be very deep and we're gonna have a little area for our inner fashionista. We get to model our clothes on a little platform that we're gonna be putting up here very shortly in front of those luxurious mirrors. And we get to try on all of our clothes. I think it'll be fun. And for the bathroom, I'm thinking something big because it's a master bathroom. Something big, something spacious, something relaxing. As you can tell, we got glass windows throughout. So it's gonna let in a lot of natural light, which I think is very needed in homes these days. Like we will need to let in natural light. No matter how much we hate light, we can always add in natural light. Lower your electricity bills, people. <laughs> I know it's probably weird having a big jacuzzi in there, but you know what? It's my vision. And that's what I think is most comfortable for my sim, Sims is luxury. So I'm liking how this is turning out so far. Gonna put a little office in there. I thought about putting the office outside the bedroom in that big hallway, but I think I might leave that for like a little reading area or something. Just like a library, an open library, something, something relaxing, you know? We don't need hectic things out there like a computer. <laughs> oh goodness. This has been a fun build so far, so I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. <laughs> envision a in-home photography studio. I'm not a photographer in real life, but I do love taking pictures and coloring and all that artistic jazz. So I figured for my sim, we have a little in-home studio and not too far away, it'll be a half closet, half bathroom. I thought about having them connected, but maybe just keep them private. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It was bit, I was very indecisive, let's just say. We, I was very indecisive of having the whole thing open like that or having both rooms separate and just, you know, doing what I did there. Close off the bathroom, leave the little luxury deep closet open like that, and maybe have it open to the bathroom yet again. But I'm just going to leave it alone. Like I said, I've been very, very indecisive about how I want to do that. And what I'm doing up here is, again, more natural light, but something I've never done before and really wanted to try was a rooftop garden. I think they're the most prettiest things on a building ever. In my old hometown, we have some buildings downtown that are rooftop garden, especially the newer builds that they are rebuilding and remodeling and all that stuff. And I think they are very pretty. So I want to do a scenic rooftop garden that you can look out from on the third floor and just give a little tr piece of tranquility and simplicity and just beauty, you know? Like obviously you can see I'm struggling with what flowers I want to put there. I do want to put rocks, but I don't know how many or where in that space. But you know, it just ties it all together. So this is something very majestic and I'm very glad I'm putting this on my rooftop garden. I definitely will be doing this on the ground level with some trees, 
near the end of the video because I'm not too worried about doing gardening and landscaping just this moment. I want to focus on my rooftop garden because it is a piece I've never done before and something I've always wanted to do and something I hope to have done in real life someday when I'm able to afford a house with whoever I am with, either if I find a cute guy or I'm just by myself. Whatever it is, my goal in life to have is to have a rooftop garden that I can look at, you know, just like this in the video. And for kicks, I'm just going to point it out now, if I ever have kids, I have a little basketball court. You can't, you can't put a pool in really with this kind of space, so we're going to add in a little basketball court area because who doesn't like to play basketball? I used to play basketball for my local YMCA when I was younger, and I sucked very bad. <laughs> Doesn't mean I didn't have much fun, though. I did. I had some fun, but, you know, it could have been better. So anyway, back to the video. take it up a notch. I'm definitely doing the trees. I definitely think I'm doing it right. I hope I'm doing it right. And I just want, I want it to look pretty. I want it to look inviting. So for under each tree, I'm doing rocks and flowers. It creates more beauty to the eye, eye of the beholder. And it just makes it feel nice and inviting. Like you want to go look at the tree, take a selfie under the tree, with the tree. I thought about putting a bench under each tree, but I decided against that. But I like how it's turning out. And what's a basketball court in the backyard without, you know, obviously an actual court. So just thought I'd jump in there real quick and mention what I was doing with the trees and the landscape. <laughs>
arrived at the end of the video. As you can see, my home is warm, inviting, luxurious, very different from what anybody would probably make their custom home, their dream home. It's an inviting space, it's a fun space, and it truly is something that is a big vision of mine. I thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye!